Is it better to be good or outstanding? Well, according to the Oxford Dictionaries, good is defined as having high standards. Outstanding can be described as exceptionally good. Here are some of the qualities which make Chigusaw an outstanding teacher. Chigusaw always prepared his lessons with clear objectives to the students. His lessons cater for the different learning needs of his students because he uses a variety of teaching strategies to entice his students during the lesson. Chigusaw helps his students to feel good about themselves and continually work at developing a positive relationship with the class as a whole. Not all learners are the same, or learn in the same way, and Chigusaw acknowledges this, therefore he uses many different professional teaching techniques to teach. He constantly evaluates how his students are progressing, and uses this information for better future learning experiences and examination results. Hi, welcome back to the lab. I'll be discussing about chemistry today, and the topic I'll be focusing on is electrolysis. All right, I have a few experiments ready to demonstrate the process of electrolysis. But before we begin, let's see what are the essential apparatus needed to conduct this experiment. 6 volt battery, ammeter, real stand, beaker, two carbon rods, and connecting wires. Excellent. Let's get started, shall we? What substances are formed when strong copper chloride solution is electrolyzed? Firstly, adjust the rheostat so that a small current flows through the circuit. The positively charged copper ions are attracted to the cathode. As the copper ions receive electrons, it becomes discharged and forms copper atoms. So, copper is deposited at the cathode. While the negatively charged chloride ions are attracted to the anode, as the chloride ions surrender electrons, it becomes discharged and form chlorine gas. So, chlorine is released at the anode. Prepare a piece of red and blue litmus paper and rub it on the carbon anode. The chlorine gas at the anode bleaches litmus paper to white. Notice that the copper chloride solution becomes gradually colorless. This is because it is gradually losing copper ions during electrolysis. In conclusion, the electrolysis of copper chloride solution splits copper chloride into copper and chlorine. Moving on, our next experiment is electroplating. So how can an iron key be copper plated? First, switch on the current and adjust the real stand to allow a very small current to flow through the circuit. Your copper atoms on the copper plate release electrons and become positively charged ions which move into the solution. As a result, the copper plate dissolves and loses mass. The positively charged copper ions are attracted to the cathode 
as they receive electrons, they become discharged and form copper atoms. So, copper is deposited on the cathode. Make sure to rotate the iron key every now and then so that the key is evenly electroplated. Notice that the copper surface solution does not change color because it has not lost any copper ions. In conclusion, an iron key can be copper plated by electrolysis. On our final experiment, we are to purify a piece of impure copper by electrolysis. Firstly, adjust the rheostat to allow a suitable current to pass through the circuit. Observe, as the positively charged copper ions from the impure piece of copper are attracted to the pure piece of copper. As the copper ions receive electrons from the cathode, it becomes discharged and form copper atoms, which are deposited on a pure piece of copper. Eventually, all the pure copper from the impure piece of copper is transferred to the pure piece of copper. As the impure copper plates dissolves, the impurities are deposited at the bottom of the beaker. Notice that the copper surface solution does not change color because it has not lost or gained ions. In conclusion, impure copper can be purified by electrolysis. That is the end of our electrolysis demonstration. Remember to always be extremely cautious when conducting experiments. Thank you for joining and see you next time.